Hi. Hola. I have to be inside today because it's incredibly windy. I even had to close the window. That's how windy it is here. I would love to talk about ways we hide ourselves today. And I'm very curious about how you're hiding. I think that for some of us, hiding has become a safety mechanism that might have started already in childhood, especially if you, for example, have been growing up in a narcissistic family system or in a difficult family system and shining your light wasn't a good idea. So you always uh, let other people do it, not yourself. There's, by the way, a very good video. I will put it into the description, uh, a recent one by Dr. Romani about this subject. And so being visible in a way is even more difficult because one of our go-tos is maybe let other people shine and stay behind the scenes in a way. I remember when I look back at myself, I think that that whole issue around making myself seen in an authentic way or being visible in my own terms has, has been something that has accompanied me for all of my life. And I'm sure I will go a little bit deeper into this in another of my videos. But I do remember situations like, for example, living in a certain place and there was already someone else who was offering something similar to what I would have liked to offer, let's say, for example, theater or a certain improvisation. And I immediately would say, okay, so I can't possibly offer something because I don't want to take away from this person and I don't want to be in competition. So I even wouldn't allow myself to <laughs> look closer and to, to see what I could be offering um, because I, I thought, okay, this person was there already and they are doing this, so there's no place for me. And uh, this is one example that comes to mind of hiding or in another circumstance, also a long time ago, I think it was a workshop and then an opportunity uh, to do something where I actually would have been the best person in terms of the what I was bringing to the table, but somebody else was maybe a little bit more keen to do it and jumping right in and i was sitting there and thinking but i i could have done this this was in my you know that was in my uh, skill set uh, uh, more so and then seeing somebody else just kind of because they were shouting more taking the space um, another example that comes to mind is maybe in certain circumstances not sharing an opinion, my opinion on a certain subject that's close to my heart because it feels too scary to do so. And it's maybe easier just to agree, even though deep down I have had an, another opinion. So these are some examples of where we can hide. And I think it's a really difficult one because there can be also the danger if we get so fed up with our own hiding, I've had that too, is where we then kind of take the other extreme and push ourselves over the edge and maybe become too quickly, <laughs> too visible. And then 
we can't deal with either not the rejection because nobody's seeing it or we can't deal with the reaction and then we go back into hiding for another long time but i i actually would like to talk about this in another video too so i think when there is a pattern of hiding because it feels like a safe thing to do or it feels safer to let other people shine even though we might have been a better fit i think we need to really be very i don't know um compassionate with ourselves but also slow finding you know small steps one at a time steps that are sustainable so that we can work with this pattern a little bit know where it's coming from that it's trying to keep us safe but obviously there's another part that wants to make an impact and that wants to be seen so it's um, allowing ourselves to come a little bit out of this torn back and forth thing and find maybe one small step that brings us out of hiding so I would love to hear, as I said in the beginning from you, what your hiding strategies are or have been. This is Anja Kersten. I work with hiding artists and creative entrepreneurs. Take good care. Bye-bye.